I, uh, so t today I got the University of Vermont graduate program, the University of Vermont graduate program in historic preservation over to visit me for their last class of the year. And they come over and I show them what the preservation work that I've done on my farmsteads and teach them a few things. But one thing, these are the, these are the students and they don't know me, but they're here and uh, they know, already know I swear. Um, so what we're doing today is I'm going to try to recreate how the geothermal system went in a little explanation about it. And this is my farmhouse, which was built circuit 1786 in Essex, New York. And when I was restoring it, one of the challenges was how to economically heat it. I picked a geothermal system and I was trying to prove historic houses don't have to be gutted and insulated as tight as a bullfrog's ass in springtime to be able to heat. And here, here's, here's what happened. Right here, the two guys, the insulators, the installers and the contractors, and me and my buddy Yagler were right here. With the con right here. And, you know, we're sitting right here. And none of this, and this house is a, like a trash. And joy, everything. I mean, and Yaglu goes to the contractors right here. They're right here. And Yaglu's right there. And he goes, how are you going to drill seven pipes through that wall to get them into here? Right here, Steve. This is the header, that the, the piping system. I'll explain all that later comes into the wall and these these guys are great guys and Jim goes I won't be a problem and Yaglu goes it's going to be a problem because those walls are Panton and how are you going to drill and I said if I sign this contract no way that I am going to spend a day with you guys drilling this contract and we had to get seven six pipes in okay and the rest of the story is one of the most amazing parts of this whole house restoration. It's just incredible what happened. And here they were, they were going, we want you to sign this waiver and the contract. And it was a lot of money. And they thought I was woohoo for putting a geothermal system in here. They really did. And they said, we want you to sign this waiver. If it doesn't work, we're not responsible because this old house can't hold heat. And I knew something they didn't know that I knew that it could. And I knew that it was old material and good natural material and it would be a thermal flywheel and we would heat this place and it would work. I had a little doubt, but I was pretty sure. And I said, we had great old windows in this house and stuff. So this house has no insulation or anything. And, but what it does have is this great old fabric and it has really dense wood and it has these walls. There's a classroom from University of Vermont for historic preservation here. And I'm just explaining them to them. These walls are very thick. They are clapboard they're sheathing they're brick they're one and one quarter inch planking from sill to plate and then they're split lath and plaster these things you couldn't put a cannonball through these planks here are one and a quarter inch thick and they went all the way around the house and then there's split lath and there's plaster and there's sheathing and then there's this plaster which is horsehair plaster but it's on split lath and split lath was old dense wood just like this just like this just like all this stuff and it all holds heat like a thermal flywheel it's such a shame when most people buy historic homes the first thing they usually do is rip out all the old great early material instead of repairing the old beautiful lime plaster walls which are connected to the good old early wood which was locally sourced and you can't get anymore Oh, well, I guess, well, it really sucks to see it replaced with sheetrock that comes from some faraway place. I feel it's an environmental and economic loss. The old lime plaster walls had awesome features like wicking moisture, inhibiting mold and mildew, served as a real great sound barrier, and as an awesome fire retardant. And if they got wet, they could just dry out and repair themselves. And not only that, they could hold heat once heated. And most of all, for me, I think they're they are just way more beautiful. Also, for just for instance, guys, you guys won't believe this. This window here is period. And what is this window? Feel that. Heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's double pane. Mm -hmm. It's a double pane. I broke a thing so you can see the other glass there. <laughs> Even back then they had double pane, and this is period. So people don't believe that this was. And these are bars for animals, didn't come in. Those are first period. So anyways, what I'm trying to say is that I had belief that this house could take a geothermal system, and the people installing it said, no way, it's not going to work. 
after we got this whole thing done, it worked. And they they were like telling everybody as an example that you that you could put a geothermal system and it works in an old historic home. The system here is the header and the pipes go out in the yard. I'll explain all that later. They go out, they bring the earth warmth in and they got, they're eight feet down, okay? And they gotta go 120 feet out and they gotta come back through this wall here and they come up through here, they go through here and they go to the, 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 the heat pump over there. But they came and they put the excavator right there. I ran outside and this is an amazing thing that happened. I said, no, not in the front yard. And they stopped. I go, I, I don't know where. Let's do it on the side. So they did it over here. And over here, outside, they And they dug and dug and dug. And I stopped them. We were all outside. We were amazed what happened. They hit the natural drain to this cellar. Back in 1786, there it is, Steve. Show it to them. You can see it right here. There was a piping system here. Underneath all this, and show them the... Show the uh, was draining this whole cellar, and they had a piping system underneath here. And it there was this was flagged at one time, and there's an arch, an old arch, uh, and it went out here. And there was a natural drain right down there, right where they dug the hole where we didn't plant it. And when they hit it, they found the natural drain. That hole was four inches by seven inches. They hit. They put seven pipes in. Six pipes in, they couldn't fit one more. It was like a miracle. Think about that. Well, that's got to be eight feet now. The amazing discovery. We just couldn't believe it. There's a hole right there that was naturally built about six feet below this house. And what, there's the front of the house there. And we, we'll, we're building this for the geothermal to get the pipes in and it just so happened, we unbelievably hit a spot where there was a natural drain in the house. That's level, a little bit level with the uh, ceiling of, or the cellar floor. And these racks here, these perfectly straight ones would go right here, right there, and right there, and they'd come all the way through, and they kept going, and they'd go all the way down here and drain out there. Pretty, pretty cool to think that they did this years ago. Just remarkable that they built this over 225 years ago to drain the cellar floor by gravity. The piping system was built out of stone and drained about 75 yards downhill from the house. After research, I found out another house in town had a similar system. The people paying the crew pair a little bit. So these guys, you guys won't believe this. Once we dug and we found that hole, those guys put the six pipes in and they couldn't fit one more in. And me and Diagler were sitting there outside and Jim, the owner of the place, goes, told you it wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> this is the first loop of the geothermal system way down there get all that dirt just from one trench feet putting the storm windows up got two of them done over there they look really good speaking of windows i wish people would realize that the old doors and windows are the eyes of the house and the beauty of old places not only that but they can be economically and environmentally better Instead of people yanking out and replacing doors and windows, I wish they would just get off their ass and fix, repair, and plumb them out, as they can hold heat just as good or better. The construction of the old windows and doors were built in a way to be able to be easily repaired and weren't made to be just another throwaway product. My man Pete's before day before Thanksgiving. He's not feeling the love today, so he's going home at the crack of noon man. construction. <laughs> take the man out of the dirt, but you can't take the dirt out of the man. Okay, that's so we had to dig three trenches 120 feet long and eight feet deep and bury a coiled piping system, which would bring back the earth's warmth into a heat pump, 
which would then deliver heat to this old house. Those are three loops, 120 feet long. Awesome. He's trying to show off to the camera, it looks like. So the coiled piping system would come into the house to this header and then bring the water that was warmed up by the ground into the heat pumps that would compress the warmth into heat for this old house. Oh yeah. So then me and Pete had to make and install the delivery ducts into this old cellar. Looks heavy. <laughs> That's it. Here's Willie with the jackhammer. This is the brains behind the operation. Say hi to space. What was that? Say hi to space. And after the brains of the operation installed the geothermal heat pumps, we were off to the races to see how well it would work. I wonder if I'm wrong about all this stuff, as most everybody guts old buildings of their great old original material to insulate. I thought I was doing and hoping I'm doing the right thing and making it beautiful with this original fabric and economically better for the future and environmentally. So after Yaglu did the numbers and we received some nice environmental tax credits for putting it in this geothermal system, it proved to be a really, really great decision. I heat this big old historic home really economically, unbelievably cheap, and it functions and basically is a free air conditioning system in the summer. It really worked out and we didn't ruin or change the original fabric of this home.